Welcome back, everybody. It's story time with Miss Margaret. Today we'll be reading No Frogs in School. And in today's story, we're going to be focusing on verbs. Verbs. Verbs are words that describe action or something that you can do. In this story, we'll be looking at different kinds of animals and pets. Let's look at some verbs that animals can do. Snakes, slither, slither is a verb. Birds, fly, fly is also a verb. Frogs, hop, hop is a verb. What verb would be for fish? Hmm, can you think of it? Yes, swim. Swim is a verb. Fish swim. So let's look at other verbs that might be in this story. No frogs in school. By A. Lafay, illustrated by El Gatine Kulamano. So many pets. No Frogs in School by A. Lafay. She's the author. She wrote the words. Illustrated by El Gatin Kulamano. She's the illustrator. She drew the pictures. Bartholomew Botts loved pets. Hoppy pets, hairy pets, and scaly pets. He loved them all so much that he couldn't go to school without one. On Monday, Bartholomew chose Ferdinand the Frog because he was new to the family. Bartholomew plopped him in his cool pink lunchbox. During art, Mr. Potnews taught them how mixing colors made new colors. Bartholomew wondered what made frogs different colors. Just when Bartholomew was about to ask, Ferdinand jumped into Lacey's finger paints. Bartholomew grabbed for Ferdinand, but he slipped, hopped away. Spling! He landed on Mr. Potnews's head. Mr. Potnews shared a new rule. No frogs in school. Have you guys noticed any verbs yet? On Tuesday, Siegfried the Salamander looked lonely. He wasn't a frog, so Bartholomew figured Mr. Potnews wouldn't mind. He slipped. Slipped is a verb. He slipped Siegfried into his pocket. When Bartholomew showed him to Sanford, Siegfried skittered. Skittered is also a verb. Skittered up Sanford's sleeve. Sanford sha sha shoomed to get him out. He sha sha shooming. That's also a verb. <laughs> Bartholomew scrambled to catch the salamander. Siegfried scampered onto a desk, then scurried to the floor. The other kids started to scream and scramble. Siegfried got nervous. He went woo-woo on Mr. Potnews's shoe. Mr. Potnews shared a new rule. No salamanders in school. No frogs, toads, or tadpoles. Nothing born in the water that grows up to live on land. Keep your amphibians at home. On Wednesday, Horace the hamster didn't want to go back in his house. He wasn't an amphibian, so Bartholomew put Horace in his bag. Horace hated pockets. 
Mr. Potnews liked pockets. He wanted to see inside every one Bartholomew had. See how popular pockets are? Bartholomew told Horace, but he didn't hear a word. The hamster had wandered off. Time to check our seedlings, said Mr. Potnews. Bartholomew loved gardening, so he got to the planting box first. Actually, Horace got there first. He squealed and squirmed and shimmied between the seedlings. Everyone got in on the act, grabbing and shouting and laughing. Grabbing, shouting, and laughing are verbs. Horace got so scared, he scurried back to Bartholomew's pocket. Mr. Partners added a new rule. No hamsters, no rats, no squirrels, no rodents in school. On Thursday, Sylvia the snake snuggled around Bartholomew's hand. She wasn't an amphibian or a rodent. So Bartholomew said he'd slip her into school with him. Mr. Potnews asked Bartholomew to turn his bag inside out. Bartholomew said he could do the same thing with his top lip. Mr. Potnews didn't want to see it. Mr. Potnews talked to the class about full sentences and periods. Carlos leaned over to, to Bartholomew and asked, can you show me the lip thing? Bartholomew did. Carlos laughed. Bartholomew took Sylvia out of her box to show Carlos that snakes have a notch in their lips for their tongue to go through. But Fatima screamed and scared Sylvia. She slithered right up the wall. Wow, Raul pointed. Does it bite? Bartholomew said, no, she snuggles. Mr. Potnews came over with dust in his hair and a snake in his hand. He didn't look happy and he had a new rule. This one was a doozy. No snakes in school, no turtles, no lizards, no cold-blooded animals with scales, no reptiles. He took a deep breath, then said, No amphibians, no rodents, no dogs, no cats, no fish, no more of your pets. Do you promise to remember that, Bartholomew? Yes, Mr. Potnews. Bartholomew was good at following the rules. Mr. Potnews said, tomorrow we'll start the day with show and tell. Can we bring anything, asked Fatima? Yes, anything. Mr. Potnews stared at Bartholomew, but no more of your pets. On Friday, Bartholomew sat on his bed with Rivka, the rabbit, in his lap. Bartholomew thought she'd enjoy going to school and meeting all of the kids. Too bad about Mr. Potnews' rules. Rivka wasn't an amphibian or a rodent, but she was his pet. Then he had an idea. A hoppy, happy, can't wait for it to happen idea. He smiled about it all the way to school. Mr. Potnews didn't look so happy when Bartholomew came into the classroom. What is that? It's Rivka, and she's not my pet. She's everyone's pet. And that's how Rivka came to live in Mr. Potnews' classroom. 
and no one was happier than Bartholomew because Bartholomew Box loved pets. Hoppy pets, hairy pets, scaly pets, and classroom ones too. The end. No frogs in school. school.